In this video, I will cover how to extrude a sketch to many different depths using the common dashboard option. I am excited to present this, so let us get started. First of all, set your working directory to keep yourself organized and easily access your files. You can create a new folder or make any existing folder as your working directory. Now click on open and select the file named as extrude depth. We will use this file to explore the different depth options of extrude. This part can be downloaded from the link available in the description. When we create an extrude feature from a 2D sketch, the depth at which the features extrudes can be set in a variety of ways, depending upon the design intent which we wish to capture. We can specify the desired depth option using the dashboard or by right clicking on the drag handle in the graphics window. Now click on extrude and select the sketch named as blind. Let us explore the first depth option which is by default blind. We can edit this depth value by dragging the drag handle or editing the dimension on the dashboard or editing the dimension on the model. So let us put 200 and click OK. Click on extrude and select the sketch named as named symmetric. Now go to the depth options and select symmetric from the dashboard. We can edit the dimension using the drag handle or we can specify any value on the dashboard. Enter any value and click OK. This the section extrudes equally on both sides of the sketch plane. On extrude, select the sketch named as to next. Now go to the depth option and pick the to next surface option. This option causes the extrude to stop at the next surface encounter. You can see that a depth dimension is not required as the next surface controls the extrude depth. Now click on OK. Now click on the extrude and select the sketch named as through all. Go to the depth option on the dashboard and select through all. You can see that this option causes the section to extrude through the entire model. A depth dimension is not required as the model itself controls the extrude depth. Now let us see to check whether it is extruded through the entire model or not. Click on the remove material on the dashboard and you can see it has gone through all it has gone through all the model. Click on extrude and select the sketch named as to until. Now go to the depth options and select the second law the second last option which is called through until depth option this option causes the extrude to stop at the selected surface and you can see that a depth dimension is not required as the selected surface controls the extrude depth in this case the section passes through the selected surface click on ok Click extrude such to surface. Now edit the depth to the selected and select this surface. Now this option causes the extrude to stop at the selected surface. Now a depth dimension is not required as the selected surface controls the extrude depth. And unlike the through until depth option, the section does not have to pass through the selected surface and you can see the contour at the end of the extrusion. Now click OK to complete the feature. Click on the extrude. Select the sketch named as to plane. Go to the depth options and select the last one. Now click the plane and you can see that the selected, the selected plane controls the depth of this extrusion. Click on OK to complete the feature. Now uh, click on extrude, select the sketch name as both sides, go to the default depth option and enter a value of 
250 you can see that it, this is the default depth option now we want the other side of this uh, uh, extrude as well so go to the option tab and click on the side 2 now select to next from the drop down of side 2 and you can see that it will automatically pick the next surface to control the extrude depth click on ok to complete the feature now this completes the procedure for creating extrudes using common dashboard options for extrude depth if you like this video please like and subscribe my channel for more such videos thank you for watching